Hello YouTube gardeners. I, a year ago, started a hydroponics project outdoors. Um, did research. And by the way, I live on the coast of South Carolina, so that gives kind of the zone in which I'm growing plants in. But uh, last year I looked at the mobile home gardener. I recommend his website as to design of a system, fertilizers, and a whole lot of details. Uh, he was my master, my teacher, uh, but I wanted to do it outdoors. So uh, this is a year later. I was pleased with what happened last year. And so I want to take you all along on the journey of uh, doing hydroponics outdoors on coastal South Carolina. Let me just share first of all that what I did when I built my system was I went to Sam's Club and got their white icing buckets. Uh, they give them away free, they dispose of them, and so you can get your buckets free. You need to do your, the construction of your piping, and uh, I may do a video on that to let you know a little bit about it. What I did was I put five gallon screens in my buckets, but I found that I was using so much perlite that it was getting expensive, so uh, again, just all old Walmart cups, I would put several cups in it. That would take up some of the volume. And then I'd put my uh, screen in. And then I'd take just perlite as my growth medium and, uh, and pour that in. Now, this year, when I got through in the fall, the last frost killed my crop. I took the perlite out, cleaned it with Clorox, and saved it took my screens and put them in Clorox water, reusing them this year uh, for my system. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm putting the screens in, the, the cups, and the perlite to get ready to plant my crops. It's uh, Easter uh, 2015, and so I'm starting to get my system ready. And, what I'd like to do is take you along this year with me so that you can see how outdoor hydroponics works. Uh, I, re I realize there are some uh, things that you have to watch out for and that you have to uh, keep on your toes when you're doing it. So I'll share some more of that along with you. But I'd like to, to show you how it's done here on the coast of South Carolina. I just want to give you a, kind of an idea so that you can kind of watch what I'm doing. Say I got my Sam's Club uh, icing buckets, they're square buckets, probably uh, somewhere around, uh, you know, three to four gallons. What I did was I cleaned them out with Clorox after the last season, scrubbed them down. It took uh, quite a bit of work. Um, hydroponics is is pretty labor intensive. Uh, it's just fun to do and uh, in a moment I'll step back and let you see how high those plants grew. I've got uh, poles that are over 10 feet tall here and um, my peppers and tomatoes grew 10 feet tall and I had to climb up because nowhere else to go and cut the tops out of them and let some suckers grow and uh, it was amazing the amount of tomatoes and a uh, good amount of peppers that I had uh, last year. We just enjoyed them all year long right up till the frost in October. So what I'm doing is I take a couple of cups just to take up volume in these buckets. I place them in and then I take these uh, five gallon paint screens. I put them in and that keeps the perlite from getting taken down into your system and clogging up your system. And I put it in, and then I've got just a bucket of uh, a bag of old perlite that I clean with Clorox. And I just pour it in the buckets. Now, I don't know if you can see at the angle the camera is in, but 
Uh, there's probably about that much distance between the perlite and the top of the bucket. You don't have to get it completely full. Uh, what I did was I took uh, some 3 8 inch tubing and I cut them and I just put that down into the perlite. Then I'm going to take my feeder hose and I'm just going to stick it right down into that tubing and that that just keeps the water glow going to where you want it. Usually I put it somewhere close to the plant. And, uh, you know, just in a couple of days, I'm going to be putting pepper plants all along this row. And what I'll do is I'll show you how I plant them and um, then where I, I stick the tubing in to, uh, to feed them. Um, at this point, I, I just saved the lids from the the buckets and I'm using to cover everything to keep the pollen and everything out. Uh, one of the problems with outdoor hydroponics is you have leaves and seeds and all sorts of stuff blowing around and you'll find it'll get in your bucket and uh, I have some uh, river birches over in the yard. The crazy things when their leaves shed the wind just blows them and I had little river birch trees rooting in my hydroponics. So again, hydroponics, especially outdoors, is pretty labor intensive. You have to uh, watch your plants, take care of them. You're going to have to trim them. I'll show you how, uh, how you do that and especially uh, what to do outdoors. Um, I tried the single stem tomatoes and uh, double stem peppers. And to be honest, those rascals grew so fast that this year I'm going to probably have uh, two or three stalks coming out of my tomato plants um, just to keep the size from growing so tall, to be able to manage the height. And so uh, I'll show you how I do that, especially the peppers. I uh, watched um, videos from Belgium where they grew peppers indoor. I recommend it. I don't remember the website, but it talked about how to prune peppers so that you have several stalks and you'll have peppers growing about every foot up the branch. Uh, two, sometimes three peppers at a time. And uh, it just makes your peppers real productive. So I'll be sharing that with you. So uh, stick with me. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can subscribe or just come back to my site. Uh, I'd be delighted to have you kind of walk along with me this year as I do outdoor hydroponics. And so have a blessed day and we'll see you in the future.